Hey there, another string change and we're back. And these are my favorite bass strings in the entire Western world. The Eastern world too, for that matter. Uh, they're called pressure wounds. And a lot of other people have called them half rounds. I think pressure wound is actually a more accurate depiction. What we're really talking about is a round wound string subjected to that kind of pressure, smoothing out the edges, but still giving you that brightness that you're not going to find in a flat wound string. To me, it really splits the difference of flat wounds and round wound strings. I use them on a lot of different bases, fretted, fretless. I tend to like round wound strings on rosewood fingerboards, but I've also made exceptions, and these strings always sound good no matter what I put them on. I'm going to talk a little bit about fretless bass in a minute, and in particular how great I think these strings are for that. So I'll play you a little piece here. This is uh, just to give you an idea of the basic sound of these strings. So you can hear that these strings are very balanced. They've got a nice, tight, low end, still have that fundamental that you want to hear from any bass string. But the top end is a little crunchier now. I also find that the dynamic range of this string is probably the greatest of any strings because flat wounds tend to kind of pull you back and round wounds can sometimes almost overdrive themselves. But with these, you can hear the string's not fighting me back. It's letting me do my thing with it. And it's great in that you're getting into the realm where the you can really hear the harmonics coming out. And to me, this string really has a great versatility to it. Uh, added to the fact that the smooth surface is a little easier on your hands, it's also easier on your frets. And um, it's incredible for fretless. We're going to talk about that in just a sec. And um, to me, this is a string where you can roll down, again, you can roll down that tone, you can still get your, you can still get your reggae tone. But you can also you can get that snap on the top end, but it's not harsh, and the over the overtones, the higher harmonics, are not taking over the scene the way they do in round wounds. It's to me the most versatile of all the strings that GHS makes. Uh, if you leave them on for a while, they kind of take on some of the characteristics of flat wounds. They get a little mellower. But if you change them regularly, you can still have that real snappy tone. And uh, I really, really love the way they feel. Uh, again, one of GHS hallmarks is consistency. And these strings are like, they're like a rock that I can put a foundation on. I know that they're going to be there for me. I've never had a bad string. I can say that with the absolute certainty that, that these strings, when you pull them out of the bag, put them on, bam, you're right there where you left off. And uh, I really love them a lot. I'm going to take one second here and uh, change over to a fretless, and we'll talk a little bit more about pressure rounds. So we're back. Wow, it's a fretless bass. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite sounds on earth is fretless. I play a lot of it. I play a lot of electric upright. As I mentioned before, I use bright flats on my electric upright. They just seem to really suit that instrument. This is one step up on the brightness bar, the pressure wounds, and I really, really love them on fretless bass. Uh, I'll give you just a little quick example of just how nice the tone is. <laughs> I 
I got a skeleton in my closet I lock him up with a skeleton key Something will bump, I know what caused it It's that bony apparition who lives there secretly Sometimes I let him out in the middle of the day He rattles about, but it don't get in the way His rhythm section when he talks Sounds like Morse code when he talks Writes on blackboards without chalk He's a calcified anomaly I got a skeleton in my closet I lock him up with a skeleton key Something go bump, I know what caused it. It's that bony apparition, an A1 condition. That bony apparition who lives there. Secretly. Yeah, it's so much fun to play a fretless bass with these smooth strings. What I really like about it is it allows you to determine whether or not you want to have that big moi, as they call it, of the fretless note where you get that. But you don't have to have that. You can just hit it straight on, and you don't know that it's a fretless bass. And so for me, it really works for things where you're trying to just be slinky and, and slidey, but you're not trying to be... Uh, you're not trying to take over the track. You're just trying to give it a little. Now that could be fretted. It could be fretless. But at, at any moment, you can work the string. That's what I love about the combination of these strings and a good fretless bass like this one, is that it really allows you a lot more flexibility in tone than round wound strings on a fretless bass sound great if you're trying to get that Jocko-ish kind of sound. But that doesn't always fit. And I've been experimenting with these things for a long time. And for me personally, and of course all this stuff is personal taste. I've found that I can get a much wider variety of sounds out of the fretless bass using a smoother string. And my preference is GHS pressure wound. I think they're the greatest bass strings on earth. And I've got them on probably 20 or 25 of my instruments. And it's always a great fundamental choice because you get that big fat tone of the flat wounds, but you start to see that sizzle and that crunch that you want to hear from round wound strings. So, I can't say it enough. I love these strings. <laughs>